Hi, it's Hinda and welcome to a new baking video on cooking fantasies and today's recipe is the legendary tiramisu. It's a very rich and savory Italian dessert that's made of layers of lady fingers, biscuits dipped in coffee, delicious rich mascarpone cream and unsweetened cocoa powder. Now you must know that the original tiramisu is made of raw eggs but this version we are making today doesn't contain any and instead we will be pasteurizing the egg yolks and we'll be using an alternative to raw egg whites without diverging much from the original taste. And I will also show you how you can make tiramisu in individual dessert cups so make sure to watch till the end. And as always I will leave you the ingredients you will need both in grams and caps measurements down below in the description box so let's get started. We will start by making the coffee we will need to dip the lady fingers biscuits in. The better quality the coffee is the more delicious your dessert will taste. And you can of course make instant coffee, filtered coffee or prepare an espresso Whatever you decide to make, you will need about two and a half cups and allow it to cool until we need it again. And now let's prepare the cream. So in a bowl, whisk the egg yolks with the sugar, the vanilla sugar or vanilla extract, whatever you are using. And what we're going to do next is put the bowl on a double boiler and keep mixing until the cream thickens. By doing this, we will be pasteurizing the egg yolks or cooking them, which will allow us to keep the tiramisu for even three days in the fridge without a problem. And this will also increase the taste and the texture. After about five minutes of beating your eggs in a bain-marie, you will notice that they start sticking to the sides and thickening. It means they are ready. And now remove them from the heat, add about 2 tablespoons of cold milk and keep beating until the temperature drops. So this is ready now, leave it on the side and let's prepare the mascarpone cheese. Now in another new bowl, beat slightly the mascarpone cheese to loosen it. This will make it easy to incorporate, then add the egg yolks and sugar mixture to the mascarpone cheese and beat everything well until they are well incorporated. And now for the last step, in a separate perfectly cold bowl, add the whipping cream that should be cold right out of the fridge and beat it till peaks start forming. The whipping cream here is an alternative to the beaten raw egg whites used in the original recipe. And finally start incorporating the whipping cream into the mascarpone and egg yolks mixture a little at the time until the cream is ready. I am obviously speeding the video but you have to do this slowly and gently in order not to lose all the air you have incorporated into the cream. And now that we have everything ready, so we're gonna start assembling our dessert. If you prefer to, you can add some coffee liqueur or amaretto to the coffee as in the original recipe. We will start by dipping the biscuits for a brief one or two seconds on each side, not longer because otherwise they will release all this coffee and water and you will end up with a watery consistency. And then lay them side to side to form a layer. The right lady fingers biscuits for tiramisu are the ones that contain sugar crust on top and this crust should be facing upwards when you lay them on your dish. And of course you can place the biscuits however it is more convenient for you to cover the whole bottom. And now cover with the cream to form a cream layer. And our cream will get firm in the fridge later on. And 
And now sieve the unsweetened cocoa powder as a third layer generously over the cream. And needless to say, go for a rich cocoa taste and the better quality, the best the end result will be. And then repeat the very same thing again. One layer of Ladyfingers biscuits briefly dipped in coffee and cover it with cream. Now for the assembly you have as many choices as you want. In this video I will be suggesting two versions. First is the family version in a Pyrex or in a glassware which I find nice and classical. But what you can also do is assemble your tiramisu in individual cups. And think about it, you can just use whatever kind of glasses you have at home, it will still look amazing. Another option would be a ceramic dishware or another thing is that you can also assemble your desserts as you would assemble a millefeuille without using any pans or dishware. As you see in the video for the last layer I used just enough cream to cover the biscuits and then piped the rest on top to give it some texture. And if you want to do this you will need to allow the cream to sit for at least one hour in the fridge before you pipe it. And then at the end of course cover it with some cocoa powder. Now to show you how to make the individual versions, you're gonna have to do the very same thing, but we will use three layers of biscuits. And finally, place the tiramisu in the fridge and allow it to sit for at least two to three hours till it sets and then enjoy with or without moderation. You can have it for up to three days in the fridge without any problem, it will only taste better. And of course, in case you still have any questions, ask me down in the comment section and I will get back to you. I hope you will be trying out this recipe soon. I'm sure you and everybody else you get to share it with will love it. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell for more recipes. And see you soon in a new video. Happy baking!